What about numbers in the thousands? How can we break them up or partition them or build them? Well, if we take this number, we've got 6,336. So we've got our place value models there as well to help us. Now we could write it in a place value table, six thousands, three hundreds, three tens, and six units or ones, which means we can partition our number or break it up because we've got six thousand plus three hundred plus thirty plus six. Now remember, when we have place value models like this, it helps us to see how we can actually rename or regroup things because we could take one of those thousands and trade it for 10 of the hundreds. But we could also take one of the hundreds and trade it for 10 of the rods or the tens. And we could take one of the tens and trade it for 10 of the units. So that is going to help us when we work out how many tens this number has. We know it's got three thousands, two hundreds, four tens and no units. But what if we wanted to write the whole thing just using tens? Hmm. Let's use some dots. We're not going to write numbers at the moment. We're going to use dots. So I've got three of the thousands, two of the hundreds, and four of the tens. Now, if I was putting digits, I must put a zero in my units place. But I'm using models, so we don't need to have anything in there. So let's see what that means we can do. Because we can still partition our number. There are 3,000 plus 200 plus 40. So that helps us for solving some problems. But we can also rename things. Because remember, 1,000 is the same as 10 of the hundreds. So I could take one of my thousands away and put 10 hundreds there. But I've got three of the thousands. So three times 10 is 30. So I've got 30 hundreds. So if I take each dot away and put another 10 hundreds, that means once I've taken three thousands away, I've got 30 hundreds extra. Now there are no thousands now. I have got 30 plus the original two hundreds. So that's 3,200 or 3,200. I've still got my four tens or 40. So I can write my number like that. It means the same. I've actually got the same value. I've just expressed it differently. Ah, but 100 is 10 of the tens. Now remember, I want to know how many tens there are. So I only want tens. I don't want hundreds. So I'm going to use the same thing. But this time I'm trading. I'm going to break one of the hundreds up into 10 of the tens. And if I do that, for all of my hundreds, I will only have tens. So I've actually got 32 hundreds, remember? There's three groups of 10 plus another two. If 100 is 10 tens, I can multiply 32 by 10. 32 hundreds is 32 times 10 tens, or 320. So I've taken all of my hundreds and swapped them over for 320 tens, plus the original four I had there, so now I've got 324 tens altogether. I've only got tens. And that's what the question was. 3,240 is the same as 324 tens.